channel and to my returning subscribers thank you for the support in today's video i'll be doing a review of the men's beef and cabbage recipe from acedos kitchen the main ingredients are onions tomato paste mixed spices garlic paste carrots minced beef tomatoes cumin powder vehicle powder and finally cabbage the list on the left side shows all the ingredients with their measurements you can pause if you want to look at the exact quantities and then continue watching this recipe starts by draining the moisture from the ground beef at this stage it's important to constantly stir the ground beef so as to prevent the formation of lumps to ensure that the moisture evaporates quickly, it's important not to cover your ground beef at the initial stages. Once you've gotten rid of all the moisture, you can add some oil according to your taste. Next, add the onions and stir the mixture until the onions become translucent. After that, you can add the tomatoes and continue stirring. Please note that I substituted some of the spices used in the original recipe with what I had at home. For instance, I used beef cubes instead of the vegetable stock powder. The next step is to add tomato paste followed by the mixed spices such as cumin powder, curry powder, white and black pepper. I would also like to remind you to not feel limited in terms of what spices you'd like to add. You can add as many spices as possible according to your taste and preference. Add approximately 1 cup of hot water once the spices are properly mixed with the ground beef and let it cook for about 3 minutes. Also, as you can see, I went ahead to add in some carrots so as to enhance the color. Let the carrots cook for about a minute while the pot is covered. Next, add the garlic paste followed by cabbage. And then start to mix the ground beef with cabbage. Also, remember to turn the two until you have the raw cabbage at the base of the cooking pot. Add the cabbage at intervals if it's a lot. And cover the cooking pot after every round so as to ensure that the cabbage is steamed. This is your chance to subscribe to Acedo's Kitchen if you haven't subscribed yet. There, you learn a lot of South Sudanese and East African dishes. And remember to add some salt to taste once you are done adding the cabbage into your cooking pot. I ended up adding additional cumin powder as the cabbage turned out to be a lot. Next, add the Rico powder to the mix solution and stir. Then let it cook for about a minute and it will be ready to serve. And finally, a big shout out to Acedo's Kitchen for this game changer. I remember my three year old son used to refuse to eat cabbage, but he ended up eating this after preparing it with ground beef. I will pin the link to Acedo's Kitchen in the comments section. And that's it for today's video. Until next time, bye bye.